Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we are on the 23rd of summertime, and it's a Tuesday. Uh, so we got tea leaves on the agenda, so we're going to have to go to... Uh, wait, let's go say hi to Dolly. Hello, Dolly. How you doing, little buddy? And then, hello to Carl. Show him my sword. Ha! <laughs> uh, morning, honey. Okay, she watered the crops. I don't even care. Alright. George sent us rocks. Although, 35. I feel like he usually sends me 30, so maybe he likes me more now and he's sending me more rocks. Ooh, what can we grab for the, uh... Row production. We got a bunch of caviar. And I think they're like 700 bucks a piece. So that'll be a decent payday right there. I guess while we're in here, let's put the rocks away. Put the tea, where are the tea leaves? And I don't need any caviar, do I? Nope. So, what I'm thinking we might do today is, um, oh, wait, wait for it, we're going to craft some more stuff to, i got to keep working on crystallariums, y'all, so that's on the agenda, but anyway, other than that, not really a whole lot to do today, I think maybe we'll chop some wood just for something to do to kind of make the day go by. Uh, there's honestly not that much on the to-do list for tomorrow, either. So, uh, now tomorrow is Willie's birthday, so there's that. What is this, my museum? Yeah, I don't need to go in there. Lost track of which, uh, sheds are which. I haven't played in a few days. Um, so if you watch my channel, uh, for other content, I've got a series going for an MLB The Show franchise. What do I have in here? Oh yeah, my bar. That thing looks freaking awesome, y'all. I gotta say. Anyway, um, I've got an MLB The Show series that I started. It was the first any kind of, you know, content that I was posting on YouTube. And I switched over to doing this series, like, most of the way through my MLB The Show run, and I started to feel bad because I got so into this that I kind of left that one hanging. Uh, so I've been trying to go back and kind of wrap that one up in terms of um, getting it to a better stopping point, which I accomplished for the most part um, over the last week or so. I got to where we wrapped up a season. I won't say exactly what happened because I haven't posted it yet. In case there's uh, anybody watching that also follows that series for whatever reason. But anyway, I'm pretty much there now. I've ended the last season where I'll actually show gameplay. And I might do, you know, a like, you know, sim through a bunch of seasons and then show kind of what happened in terms of, like, different players, how their careers ended up, etc. But I'm not going to be playing anymore. And part of the reason I'm wrapping that one up is because the PlayStation 5 is coming out in, like, a week. Actually, a couple of days. I'm not going to get one right away. But I am going to get one. And then whenever the... Uh, whenever Madden is available on PlayStation 5, I will buy that, and that will be my first PlayStation 5 content that I will cover. Um, so, what I was getting at is part of the reason that I was kind of trying to work my way, I'm going to leave an egg in here. Uh, I want to get through my MLB series so that I can start playing Madden again to just kind of try and get back into the groove with it. Um, I'll be playing on PlayStation 4, and I'm not, I don't even have the newest Madden. 
but I'm, I'm not real worried about which Madden it is. I just want to kind of get back into the groove in terms of the pace of play and the different plays that I like to run offensively and, and whatnot. The strategy bits and pieces. So it just takes a while when you kind of, I mean, heck, half the time you start playing a game like that again after not playing it for a while. And it's like, okay, what button does what? Uh, so just, you know. Anyway, I want to get kind of get back into um, that game before I start doing a series on it. 412 truffles. Did I do math as to how many I need to get through the season? If I do 16 a day for 30 days, it's 480. So now I know I need a little bit less than that to actually make it through the season, but to have more would be nice. Um, now I could make another crystallarium, but it would only be one and I'm getting low on iridium bars. Dang it. I need to make more furnaces. That's what we're going to do. Um, nine of them, to be exact. And now... 45 of these. And nine of these. I didn't really want to do this, but I think it's going to be helpful in the process of... Wait... Where are my, uh, yeah, in here. It's going to be helpful in the process of me building out my Crystallarium Empire if I can get a bunch of these. Ooh, look at all my jade. Why is this one, why is this one not done? Is there a diamond in there? <sighs> Dang it. Whatever. Not a big deal. 16 jade every couple days is pretty good. So now in the mornings, I'll grab iridium and gold and smelt a bunch of both. That's the plan. All right. All of that stuff will sell. And then we're going to go root around in Caroline's bush and we'll cut some trees. So sell... Sell, 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 and sell. Let's go. There are some trees, and we'll grab some foraging, I guess, while we're out and about. Just because we can. Not because we care. Just because it's there. So. Um. So we are coming up on... Fall. Now, for fall, we still need to plant a mixture of crops. Um, and that should get us to where we will ship 15 of everything. Uh, but more importantly, or maybe just as importantly, I guess is the more appropriate. All right, Pam wants an emerald. Actually, while we're here, let's go root around in Caroline's bush. Then we will go get that emerald for Pam. And... Then, go chop some trees to wrap up the day. I should really plant some more tea bushes now that I think about it. I have the stuff to do it, so... And they don't take a lot of work. Um, and that'll give me more access to tea leaves so that I can get to where I can make a huge batch of green tea at some point. It's not a big deal, though. I need to go up to the desert one of these days and just, you know, say hello to Sandy, cut some trees up there. You can actually plant a tree farm in the desert. Uh, so, if you remember earlier in the series, I planted a tree farm in the um, quarry. So, if you really wanted to get crazy, you could do one in the desert. And the sun is coming right in on my face, y'all. It's that time of year. It's making me hot, too, because it's toasty. And I'm, it's like, it's that time of year where it gets cold. What am I looking for? Oh, I need an emerald for Pam. Uh, where it gets cold at night, 
but then I mean it's pushing 80 today in Knoxville so it's like do I turn on the air conditioning do I turn on the heat do I just leave everything off like what the crap all right so yet another task complete wait what is this other one oh yeah we're not gonna do that let's go let's go to the desert we'll cut the trees up there why not and we'll see what the desert merchant has for sale just because we can actually I don't think he's gonna have anything that I really want we'll check it out but I doubt that he's gonna have anything I, anything I care about Ooh, look at all the butterflies came out of there you know one thing I should buy is a crap load of star fruit from uh, Sandy up here do I, well actually you know what um, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna say hello to her we're gonna give her a flower okay and then I don't think I need to sell very many beets but we're, we are gonna get 24 just to have them now fancy red blouse uh-uh I'm thinking about st star fruit seeds because like next summer I could plant an entire field of them but I don't really have enough money like I would want to buy a thousand of them I could do that but it would be half of my cash so we'll maybe do that later and instead of blueberries next year which I already purchased a ton of I could do star fruit I'll have to plant them twice instead of just once but they'll make for bigger paydays which is cool so that's kind of what I'm thinking there alrighty uh, there'll be bigger paydays just less frequent I should say Triple shot, mega bombs bombs fiber I need to buy that at some point just to have it yeah all right I kind of figured there wouldn't be anything nope anything that uh, I was interested in buying from the old desert merchant but that's okay we'll finish our uh, wood chopping up here then we'll head back to the house and call it a day While we're up here and it's a little bit slow let's do the fun fact of the day now this one is really really interesting to me um, today's fun fact is that a man uh, there one time there was a man with severe OCD and uh, severe germophobia and he attempted to commit suicide put a gun to his head and shot but instead of killing him the bullet actually cut through his brain and eliminated the part that basically was responsible for his mental illness without any other damage <laughs> so he survived and fixed his problem I mean that to me is just holy bejesus what are the odds of that so that was cool and good for him that he survived and you know Golly, a terrible. I mean, I wonder if the like the memory of attempting suicide weighs heavily on that person, or if they you know got over it because like part of their mental illness kind of you know what I mean. Anyway, just a absolutely wild story there. All right, you go in there. I'm gonna put you. I bet you I have beet seeds. Yep, already have them. That's okay. I'm gonna sell the coconuts I don't know why I'm keeping them I never give them to Haley even though she loves them I don't need to give them to her on a daily basis so get rid of it all right that's it for day one moving on to day two good night Carl what was I gonna do oh let's um uh, we'll do it tomorrow yeah, tomorrow is Willie's birthday, and other than rooting around in Caroline's bush, I really don't have that much on the agenda, so there you go. Yeah, 50k a day, not bad. <clears throat> this
this might end up being a relatively short episode, because I don't know how much time I'll spend today uh, doing stuff that will take a while anyway. Morning, Carl. Morning, honey. And morning, Dolly. Now, <clears throat> check the news. And Sunny. Bad luck. Blackberry cobbler, which we already know how to make. Uh, did I check the wine lately? Nope. Still regular quality. That's okay, though. Alright, we got coffee. Let's grab that. And now... Good morning, Cooper. How you doing, little buddy? And we got some wild plum. Come on, give me eight iridium. Hey, hey, look at that. Uh, oh, I got to get in the habit of grabbing my iridium and gold before I go to bed. So let's see, I have 17 um, whatchamacallsits. So let's do three iridium and then it'll be 14 of these which should be what 60 no 70 right pretty sure all right let's go All right, now, boom, 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 there, nailed it. Now, I should be able to build a couple more crystallariums today, so, you know, I could just do a ton of jade crystallariums, but I just don't think... That's as much fun. It would kind of force me to go to the Skull Caverns a lot. Which, I don't really want to. It's fine going every week or two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lots of milk and wool here. A lot of variety, too. Holy smokes. There we go. <clears throat> Good morning, piggies. Alright, we got some blueberries. have some more hops. Golly, pigs are so freaking profitable, y'all. It's, it's just insane. I got 30 truffles two days in a row. That's what I'm talking about. And there's more there that I could collect if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. Ah, hate when that happens. Alright, I don't think I'm due for another dinosaur anytime in the next few days, but it's okay. We'll leave an egg in there at all times until, wait, let's go get Seabiscuit. At all times, that is, until, oh, no, oh my gosh, until our barn is at max capacity. Or coop, I should say. And then our dinosaur empire will be complete. And we got tomatoes, and looks like we got corn. So lots of harvest going on today, and I have a feeling that might 
have me at max inventory, which sucks because I don't like having to make two trips to my shed just to drop stuff off. Like, it, to me, it's almost worth just throwing it in the trash. I think I get 60% with an Iridium trash can, which is like, you know, for as much as the money doesn't really matter to me anymore. It's like, eh, whatever, 60% is fine. I'll call it a, uh, it's like a sale at Kohl's. Everything's 40% off. And then another 20% off of that. And then $10 Kohl's cash. Am I going to have enough to get all the stuff? Nope. Need to sell two things. And we're going to go with... Coffee beans. There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, what am I keeping here besides truffles? And those. Uh, and that stuff. And this stuff. No, no. Tomatoes, you... Er, tomatoes. Blueberries, you coming with me. Everything else... Wait, where are coffee beans? Boom. Okay. Why... Corn. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait for it. Willie likes diamonds. He likes other stuff, but since he likes diamonds, and I've got pretty much a limitless supply of them now, because of my crystallarium stuff, he's getting a diamond. So there you go. Alright. Caroline's bush... And Willie gets a diamond. Then we'll come back and make a couple more crystallariums. I see you over there, sweet pea, but I don't care about you. I don't know where Willie's going to be at the moment. I'm hoping that he's in his shop. So, that's where we'll go looking for him. If he's not there, I know he'll eventually... Hey, mind if I root around in your bush? Skadoosh. Hey, now that I root around in your bush, you want to see my sword? Uh huh? Uh huh? You like it? You want to play with it? Sorry. Uh, where are we going? Willie's. Willie's birthday. We are approaching the end of summer, which means essentially one of the longest days of the year because of the um, Moonlight Jelly Festival. So, that'll be a long episode. But that's okay. I'm gonna come over here and grab some stuff. I don't really need this stuff, but it's we'll grab it. We don't do it very often. It's It kind of brings me back to the good memories of when I had no money and like that coral worth a hundred bucks was so worth going out of my way to get and now it's like I pick it up and I almost want to just immediately throw it in the trash and I run past all of this stuff that's worth money just because I don't care hey buddy there you go happy birthday man Hope you have a good one. Is there anything I need to buy from you? Nope. Um, we should probably go to Robin's and look for more recipes. Let's do that before we head back to the house. Because the only thing that we have left on the agenda for today is... Um, what is it? Oh, making some crystallariums. Which is, like, not a big deal. And it's not going to take very long, so. Alright, since I'm going past you, Sweet Pea, I'll pick you up. There goes Maru. And what you got for me? A 
carved brazier recipe. Brazier. Brazier. Uh, we'll grab these grapes. Why not? We'll grab this stuff, and then we'll cut down this tree rot here. Just because we can. Not because we need to. I gotta figure out something to do with all my sap. I got tons of sap, y'all. All right, first let's uh let's come over here and we'll grab more gold. And so I need 15 of those. And what I say, 70 of these. And 17 of those. And now. No. <clears throat> Let's come on over here. I hope the iridium is done, but I'm not sure if it will be, honestly. Nope. See, it's not. That's okay. Oh, look at that! What are the chances? Alright, now, let's head out. Go back to the shed. Grab battery packs and see how many... Um, crystallariums I can make. Probably not that many. Ooh. Do I have, uh... Okay. Six. Not bad. Now, you go back in there. Boom, boom, boom. I don't think I need any of these things, unless I used them. Okay, I was going to say, I used some stuff for cooking the other day. So, you go back in there. We're good on oysters. I'm pretty sure I'm good on all the other spring stuff. Oh, nope, need a spice berry. Tea leaf in there. You in there. I think I used a clam the other day, too. Yep. Boom. All right, now I need, ooh, see we're low on diamonds, so we're going to leave them in there, uh, yeah, we're going to continue doing diamond crystallariums, why not, if anybody has any other recommendations, by all means, let me know. So that was a pretty productive episode. Wasn't super exciting, but it was productive. All right, we're going to go in here real quick, and we're going to grab the um, stuff that we need for our next batch of smelted bars in the morning. We're getting low on coal already. That's all right. <clears throat> go sell the stuff, and that'll do it for the episode. Actually, one more thing we'll go check real quick. You can come up there. Nope. We're just going to see if our stuff is ready. just because I don't feel like putting it in the shipping bin. All right, that'll do it for this episode. If you have not done so, please be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, comment below. Ooh, how did I forget to get those this morning? Sorry, give me one second. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and comment below and we will see y'all next time.